I'm Susan, and my scene was based on Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. I tried to incorporate like a, um, a, var a variety of materials, like this one is sweater, but I tried, um, but I also used ropes and um, this flow of materials and also velvet. Last year, I went to the fashion show and I was amazed at um, the the quality of the show that like the students produced and I, I wanted to be a part of it and because it's my last year. Hi, um, I'm Cindy and I, my scene is called Vivarium. It's inspired by The Little Mermaid. My inspiration for my scene comes from particularly the fish in The Little Mermaid because uh, as much as I love the land, I think underwater creatures have some sort of a, a very magnetic sort of feel to them. They're very pretty and there's just something very exotic about it. I decided to design for fashion show this year because it's such a big production at our school and everybody is involved and I just really wanted the opportunity to be part of such a big production. Hi, I'm Zizi. And I'm Camilla. And, and our, our scene is inspired, inspired by, by the Jungle Book. Our designs were inspired by the animals and their features. So we have outfits and one outfit is per animal. So um, we have an elephant, we have a snake, and then we have Mowgli himself, which is the main character. We were inspired by angular cuts and our palette for our entire collection is very nude. Um, sorry, it's very earth, earth tone. We have different angles and sheer fabric. We also like to layer a lot, so you'll see different colors mixed together. And the fabrics we used were mainly cotton, liner, linen, and um, a transparent polyester fabric. Hi, I'm Hatley, and my collection is inspired by the fairy tale, The Emperor's New Clothing. My inspiration uh, was to use nude colored fabrics, like um, the lace details on um, some of my pieces and the peachy colors that I've using. I decided to design this year for fashion show because I have always been interested in fashion design and thought it would be a good place to start um, uh, to build my portfolio for universities and also just to gain some experience with sewing and designing. Um, I'm looking at Ryerson for fashion design um, and hopefully I can include some of these pieces in it. And also fashion show is a, an amazing Pearl Hag extracurricular, extracurricular event, and um, I've always wanted to be involved somehow. I'm Michelle, and I'm Angie. Um, our fairy tale, I mean, our collection is based on the fairy tale Red Rose and Snow White. Basically, it's a story of two sisters, and they find a bear who's bewitched, who turns into a prince later on, and then they get married. The fabrics we used were um, a lot of tools. Uh, Yeah, we um, have some satin and lace. We based uh, um, our designs on the two the two main characters, Red Rose and Snow White. Basically, Red Rose is more energetic and she's full of red colors, and Snow White is more reserved and she's more shy and um, feminine. We realized that we wanted to do bridal gowns, hence the long, um, elegant gown. We're going to do veils as well. My name's Sierra, and I'm doing the fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood. And um, I was inspired by the Grimm's fairy tales, which are the more like dark and scary. I kind of went with the um, with the idea of like when Little Red Riding Hood meets the wolf in the forest. So that's where my inspiration came from. My designs, all of them have either leaves or like branches or something that's related to the forest. They're all dark, like there's no bright colors. I decided to design Forever After because um, I really love designing and I've been designing since I was since I was like 13 or something and um, I just wanted to actually make the design. Okay, hi, my name is Huilin and my collection is called Trick or Treat. So it's inspired by the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel and it seeks to bring out the good and bad sides of something that's seemingly innocent or seemingly attractive. So my collection consists of four pieces, two vivid colored dresses which resemble the physical appearance of something that is beautiful, while the two darker outfits resemble the hidden flaws. Like I always take inspiration from my dreams and it's just really cool to be able to make my dreams come true. 
Hi, my name is Caroline. The name of my scene is uh, Aurora's Barbie Dream, and uh, the fairy tale is Sleeping Beauty. The biggest uh, factor of my theme are the colors. So, the colors have to do mostly with uh, Barbie. So it's like different shades of pink. This is actually one of my favorite designs that I did make. Um, it's my favorite one because the way it looks on the model, it's, it really fits her perfectly. Well, I finally got the opportunity to because other years I didn't really have the chance to. But other than that, it's because also I want to pursue fashion after high school. So it's my last year, so yeah. Hello, I'm Michelle. And I'm Bethia. And our scene is called Sweet Savage. And it's based on the movie Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is about something two opposites coming together to create something beautiful we were really interested in the clash between the two and making them into one piece savage and sweet basically so we really looked into the two characters mostly the um the love like the love between them those two and the i guess the the relationship and how perfectly they fit together hi i'm monica and i'm christine and our scene was inspired by Cinderella. Cinderella. The main inspiration for our collection comes from the Disney movie of the fairy tale Cinderella. And it comes from the first dress that she was going to wear to the ball, which is pink and has bows all over it. This year we really wanted to be a part of fashion show because, well, last year we saw the show and we were really enthralled by the designs and... We really wanted to be a part of the design element of it. We're both modeling and choreographing in the show and we love that element of performance but we were really interested in the behind the scenes aspect of and it. And the sort of creative process that goes behind the whole show. Okay, I'm Riley. I'm Jennifer. And our scene is called Tazo. So it's kind of like a modern twist on a classic tea party. And the concept is kind of keeping the classic silhouettes you'd see in a tea party, but giving it a little twist. So you'll see kind of like asymmetrical cuts and it's really floral and fun. And, um, we want to use a lot of floral prints and lace and tulle and pastel colors.